At the surf club, the tension between Rose and Molly reaches its breaking point. Rose, with a heavy heart, calls Molly for what seems like an ordinary coffee, but beneath the surface, she's making one final desperate attempt to pierce the wall he's built around himself. She confronts him about the brawl with the Allens, the mysterious exchange of money, and the brutal attack on Aluka. But as expected, Molly remains tight-lipped, deflecting her questions and coldly suggesting she ask the Allens if she really wants answers. Rose, however, isn't fooled. She lays out her suspicions, Molly's brother took money that wasn't his, and now they're all paying the price. But despite her insight, Molly stubbornly refuses to confirm anything. His silence is a final betrayal. Realizing that her words are falling on deaf ears, Rose makes a heart-wrenching decision. With a trembling voice, she tells Molly that she can't be with someone who treats her like the enemy. Her resolve is clear, and for the first time, she sees the relationship for what it is, an unending cycle of hurt. Molly, sensing the gravity of the moment, admits that he's been shutting her out but pleads for another chance. He reminds her that they've faced challenges before, but Rose isn't swayed. Her voice sharpens with determination. That's the problem, Molly. I've compromised myself too much already. We're done. In an instant, Molly's world crumbles. He's lost not just his relationship but his home, his sense of security, and now, even his family. As if on cue, Aluka delivers the final blow, he's decided to leave Summer Bay, taking Alondra's advice and heading back to Mandaray Point to face the consequences of his actions. The next morning, the weight of reality presses down on Molly as he watches Aluka say a brief goodbye to Kirby outside the surf club. When it's Molly's turn to say goodbye, the moment is almost unbearable. I love you, brother, he whispers as they embrace for what could be their last time. Stay out of trouble, yeah? And just like that, Aluka drives away, leaving Summer Bay, and Molly, behind. Now, with nothing but the echoes of his shattered life, Molly is left standing alone. Homeless, heartbroken, and without his family, the question lingers, how will he survive this?